Good morning, Wildcats. Today is Tuesday, April 13th, National Scrabble Day. I'm Andrew Caddy, and welcome to WCTZ News. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Today's episode of WCTZ News is sponsored by Keller Williams Realty. Building a unique relationship with my community and having a genuine interest in helping them is truly something I believe in. Today's episode of WCTZ News is also sponsored by Shockley, creating a healthier lives. Now, to Kishin Ramshandani with a look back at Friday's senior dinner. I have the stack of everyone who's still here, and then I have this other stack of all the ones we've lost along the way. And that was a sad stack. Even though it wasn't prom, seniors were able to get dressed up and celebrate their six years together at the senior dinner. I was really excited about coming to this. It's very different than what would have been uh, in a prom. Um, I think it went really well. Uh, the speeches were impassioned. The kids had a lot of fun. There was a lot of laughter. As a substitution, it met what we wanted it to, which was a chance for you guys to, to do something together as a class. Uh, I think it would be neat to carry something like this on. I know that we've done senior breakfasts in the past. The memorable part for us, it was really showcasing some of the the great things that the students have done and let, letting us think back on that. I was really happy with the senior dinner. Um, I think that it went really well. Um, it was a lot better than any of us expected it to be. It was really nice to see the class all together. I think the most memorable moment of the night was when um, the homeroom teachers gave speeches about how they saw us grow up from seventh, to now, seventh grade to now. Um, it was really nice to hear them talk about what their favorite memories of us were. And I think it was just the best way that we could all get together while still being within the COVID regulations. I think it went pretty well. We had a great turnout. A lot of the seniors showed up dressed really nice, you know, and everyone seemed to have a great time. I got the beef option for my entree and I thought it was absolutely delicious. You know, my teriyaki flank steak was cooked medium. You know, I like it medium, like rare sometimes, but you know, the medium had enough like red, you know, in there. So it was delicious. This has been Kishan Ramchandani reporting for WCTZ News. In honor of the girls varsity lacrosse team advancing into districts, let's take a look back at their senior night. What's up Wildcats? I'm here at the girls lacrosse senior night. The girls absolutely crushed Rockledge with a score of 14 to two. Let's talk to the team. I'm here with junior and captain Lexi Vordran. Lexi was the lead scorer tonight with eight goals. What strategy did you have coming into this game? Um, it was just to bring the aggression that we had in our previous game into this game and just have a fun senior night and get all of our seniors to score a goal and have fun. I'm here with captain and senior Paige Conrad. Paige, you're injured, but what's one thing you watch the team do tonight that you think will help them in future games? Um, so in the past games, we haven't been really playing as a team. It's more of like separate individuals, but tonight's game, it was like just one big, one big family and it pulled all the strings. I'm here with senior Sophia Mandizi. Tonight was her first ever career goal. How did that feel? It felt pretty good. The girl on the other team fouled me, so I got the free shot and it went in. So that was exciting. What's one thing you'll take from this experience to help you later in life? Um, definitely like the team bonding and like how connected we were. I felt like we were all pretty close and that was good. I'm here with senior Bianca Grande. You've been playing for five years. What's the most memorable experience from those five years? It's definitely when um, we got our first win with Coach Taylor Canavan. She really turned the team around and I think that changed us for the better. It was the turning point. And then you guys absolutely crushed Rockwood tonight. <laughs> what was your goal going in and how do you guys think you did? Well, we kind of used our Cocoa Beach game as like a mirror and we copied the cuts, we copied a lot of the drills and it seemed to work better with this team and we seemed to execute it a lot better in this game. This has been Tenley Paul reporting for WCTZ News. Back to you, Anchor. The girls lacrosse team plays tonight at 6 at Holy Trinity. Tickets are $6 and face max are required. Come out and support our Wildcats. Thank you for tuning in to another edition of WCTZ News, sponsored by Keller Williams Realty in Shockley. This has been Andrew Caddy, and have a superlicious day, Wildcats.